So we're out and about today, uh, Friday afternoon. You know, I've got to get my steps up and I don't really feel like walking around the uh, the kitchen island numerous times to do it. So we're outside, but hey, it's still a beautiful day nonetheless. We're here, it's fresh oxygen and we live in a great part of the world. But what I wanted to talk about primarily today, because I've just completed all of my check-ins for the week with all of my clients, is progress. Now, so many people, when they check in, they go, oh, I'm so disappointed I didn't drop more weight, or I'm so disappointed my measurements haven't come in, I don't look any different. But there's so many more ways to look at progress, and you have to look at it from a holistic point of view. You can't just look at it from a scale point of view, from a number point of view, because you're making progress in so many ways, particularly if you are being consistent. And yes, that word is cliche, but it is so, so true. Think of all the progress you're making in the gym. If you're weight training, if that's your primary uh, focus in terms of training and you're making improvements you're you're getting stronger you're lifting more weight your range of motion is better your longevity is going to be improved your bone density is going to improve now yes these are not tangible things that you can actually see but they are happening they are doing it maybe your energy has improved it's it's uh, inclined to a point where you're getting out of bed a lot better maybe you are finding that your sleep has significantly improved as well um, you know you're you're getting up better in the morning, you're waking up, you're getting up with the start to your day, and then all of a sudden, you're more productive throughout the day. You might be um, better in terms of your workplace, you're getting more done, maybe you're more efficient at home, maybe you're more, your time management skills at home have improved as well. All of these things are benefits of you being consistent with your health and fitness. And I stipulate again, you know, I, I quoted the other day about a, um, a quote that I read about you know, when people complain they don't have the time or it's too expensive, they don't have the money or, you know, things like this, it's too hard, but you brush your teeth every day. Why do you do that? Think about that for a moment. Why do you brush your teeth every day? And the, the common answer or the obvious answer is because, you know, I want to clean my mouth. I want to look after my teeth. Um, you know, dental surgery is expensive. So why are you not doing that same process, that same ideology with your body and your mind? baffles me that people don't prioritize their health more so progress is progress it covers so many facets so many different ways of improvement in your life if you're actually going to the gym five days a week and six months ago you weren't that's an improvement that's progress and you should be incredibly proud of that you know if you're outlifting the people next to you if you've encouraged people to come to the gym with you because they've seen how great you're doing that's improvement, that's progress. You're starting to improve and represent uh, and inspire others. So again, it's progress. You've got to look at the whole picture. And this is the process I take in terms of client check-ins. I, I make sure that we look at it from a very holistic perspective. We look at all the 1% it's done and make sure that each client understands that they are making progress in small, simple ways to get to the bigger picture. And that's the message you wanted to get to. Don't focus on the scales. Don't focus wholly and solely on the numbers. Just ensure that you are making progress in some way. And I guarantee you will enjoy your health and fitness journey a hell of a lot more. I'm getting out of this rain because it's ridiculous.